Oh, boys and girls, the season didn't exactly start to plan yesterday, so we kind of need to turn things around a little bit today. The one thing that is going in our way at the moment is the Europa League. We've got a double header against Atalanta coming up, so maybe we'll just win the Europa League and abandon the Premier League again for another year. So yeah, if you weren't in yesterday's stream, we did start, we did end early because I just got tired. I can't guarantee I'm going to be on till four o'clock today, although I'm officially no longer COVID boy. Um, it is still affecting me, I guess, I'm recovering from COVID. Um, so I might not be able to do like a three and a half hour stream, but we'll we'll go for as long as I can. What I do know for sure is if we lose 5-2 at home to Blackburn too many times, that's likely to discourage me from wanting to... <laughs> to carry on streaming. That was kind of the nail in the coffin yesterday. I don't really know what went wrong there. I think it's probably our cue to switch to this, which is what we do during times of trouble. We'll switch to the 4-3-1-2, just in time to lose against Atalanta, even though the system that we've been using has been working absolutely fine in the Europa League so far. But what's the harm in a little bit of a change? Was Saka a wonder kid all along? I guess he must have been. We wouldn't have spent all that money on him if he wasn't a wonder kid. Uh, the other positive, of course, to come... Oh, Gordon Bennett. <laughs> Team meeting. Sort your lives out, you cowards. There you go. We've had a bad start. So we're doing a change of tactic and a team meeting, and we've reloaded the game from yesterday. So I've got to believe that the three of those things combined should sort us out today. We should be fine. What I was going to say is the one bright point we've got is Plamen Vaselinov who is going to eventually become homegrown at club, which is phenomenal news. Um, still only 18 years old. He's just breaking into the team. Two goals from two in the Premier League. Four goals from one appearance in the EFL Cup. Um, six from five overall in all competitions. And three goals in two international appearances for Bulgaria this season. This guy is a goal machine. He is our Sven de Silva. He is now a wonder kid. We have a wonder kid striker. We have a homegrown at club wonder kid striker. Right, we're going to make Vold an inverted wing back because we were having fun with that yesterday. The midfield look like they're all best of friends. And we've got the good old faithful strike partnership of Mertha and Cadridge. I'm still a little bit warm and sweaty, but I don't know if that's just because it's warm in my office. Like it always is. Are you actually... What are you doing? I'm sick. You can't open that door. I've got stuff behind it. I'm sick. Anna's now poorly, though. Don't bring your COVID in here. <sighs> we don't want COVID. I'm just getting better. i Don't sick. crush my Pokemon boxes. I've got Pokemon boxes piled up behind the door so the camera doesn't focus on them. Are you actually telling me that we've changed to the 4-3-1-2 and now we're going to lose? Despite the fact we've been... Great in Europe up until now. I mean, we weren't supposed... I never expected we'd be better than Atalanta. But I don't want to lose to them. I want to win the group. They weren't able to beat the, the other team whose name I can't remember. The made-up team. Oh, that's a lovely bit of football there. That is beautiful stuff. Referee, stop fingering yourself for having that. That was too good a goal for you to be fingering your ear hole. Absolutely it was. Look at this. Look at the amount of passes in this. All one-touch stuff, apart from Goo's perfect through ball, which was a second touch, the coward. Didn't have the, didn't have the nuts to do it first time. I'll take a draw there. We are struggling for form. We're going to lose again. We're going to lose again. Please don't concede this. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> dear me. There's no danger of me getting sacked. For all, after all I've done for this football club, there's no chance I'm getting sacked. But that's not how it works, unfortunately, because football fans are idiots and are far too demanding. Uh, classic 4-4-2. I'm not a caveman. You say if I'm losing 3-0 at Watford, I should be fine. But this is Watford who've had a tycoon takeover and have been a Champions League club previously in this save. 
it's not like losing against Watford in real life. This is like losing against Chelsea in real life. Right, we're going to do what we haven't done for a long time. And I'm going to chat to my assistant manager and see what system they think we should be playing. We're going to treat it as if we're coming into a new club. I'm going to ignore any loyalty to players I currently have. And we're going to pick an appropriate tactic for the players that we've got. Leamington manager slams team. Yeah, too right, I slam the team. Right, let's get rid of this, because this is stupid. Get rid of this, because that's stupid. Put this back how it's supposed to be. Right, so my assistant manager says Tiki Taka. Or control possession. So Gagan press then. He thinks Tiki Taka 4 3 3. So the Paris Saint Germain system we've been using. Or control possession. And we're just going to have to force someone into playing on the left hand side. And they're going to like it. Blackburn away in the EFL Cup. What a time for experimentation. Anyone suggesting any kind of defensive tactic needs to grow up and get they need to time they need a timeout. Grow up. And a pervert defense. We should be outscoring everybody. We're gonna do the three at the back that we planned to do at the start of the season, but we're gonna do a new version of it. Clear both these out. And if it doesn't work, we can just push um, Creel into the DM spot and go to the diamond after 10 minutes. It can move back and forth between the two. But basically, Arsene Wenger towards the end of his reign when he reluctantly played a 3-5 at the back because everything's going wrong. Uh, I mean, I'm doing it because the alternative is play the diamond with Devin Creel as the at the base of the diamond. And he's a centre-back, so we may as well play him at centre-back. And give the wing backs even more freedom to go forward. That's all we've really changed. Rather than playing him at the base of a diamond, we've played him in his natural position. We can switch to the diamond in the second half and I'll look like a tactical genius switching between systems. We don't need to! Oh, Kev's a genius! This is the answer, this tactic. This is all we needed. Look at us go, look at us go. Look at us go! Look at Showy Forward go. Ridiculous. <laughs> well, beautiful. Benjamin, thank you for the bits. Ah, oh, Devin Creel is a problem. Oh my word, that is defending right there between two players. Rodriguez and I think it was Dolman. Oh, what a team goal. That, I mean... The defending and then the, the quick counter. We might have our new tactic. Hadrich is playing very, very deep. He seems to be playing that role differently to how he plays the exact same role in the other system. Which is interesting. That was poor. I think what I need to do is stop messing around with Vold and just play him as a wing back and tell him he needs to learn to use his left foot. This inverted wing back nonsense is a little bit too Spanish for my liking. We might go back to basics in the next match. Start from scratch with a diamond. I mean, that's a hideous finish. That's us out of the EFL Cup. We're actually somehow managing to be even worse today than we were yesterday. Which is alarming, to say the least. Look at the state of this. All ex I hate experimenting. Liverpool in the Premier League now. It'll be fine. Right, look at this. Veselinov. He's away. He's going to do a football. He's won a penalty. Here we go. The comeback is on. Chris, if you show my nipples in this video, you're fired. Yeah, absolutely. Probably because some bloke was filming their nips the previous day. It could be that. I am a tactical genius. This playing beautiful football all of a sudden. I fixed us with my tactical genius. 
I did just change them to ball playing defenders, and then they got caught out ball playing. It's fine. That's what I wanted them to do. I think we've done rather well there. We haven't won in five. It's fine. They seem to be enjoying getting some width on us, almost as if we're playing a very narrow system. But it can't be that. Referee, come on. You loved fingering yourself before. Let's get busy with it again, because that felt offside to me. It is all going wrong. I am going to get fired. There's your turning point. The really annoying thing is I know this team is better than last year's team. We just have to wait for the new guys to settle in, I guess. Until then, we take our medicine. Over and over and over again. And smile whilst we take it, because there's nothing I can do about it. Might unbox some wrestling figures while the game goes on in the background. Just to give us something fun to do. <laughs> I've got my new CM Punk figure behind me. Still in its box. I haven't played with him yet. I've got Cody Rhodes in a suit. See, even talking about wrestling figures has brought us back to life. But look at that. It's just... We're supposed to be Gagan pressing. There is no press at all going on here. <laughs> There's literally nothing we can do about that. We can't schedule a friendly because we're in Europe at the moment, so we're playing every Saturday and every Wednesday. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit stunned at what I'm witnessing. Come on, Kadrich. Hey, a football goal. Come on. <laughs> oh, what is happening to me? Come on, let's have a football goal. Oh, here we go. Look, football goal. We've actually created some chances. We're quite good going forward. We've scored three goals away from home at Arsenal. Come on, get yourself an assist. Save your match rating. Get out of the red. Penalty. Beefy. Oh, surely not. With three minutes to go. Surely not. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, we actually did all right there. If we play defenders in our next game and attack like that, I think we'll be all right. Right, we must... Oh, God. We must win this next game in Europe or we're going to tumble out of the Europa League, which will be very sad after such a great start. That guy should have contacted me by Discord earlier. He wouldn't have got a reply. He'd have quickly found out you can't contact me on Discord unless we're already friends. But he would have learned. It would have been easier than me just saying, no, you don't listen. We can't work together. Come on. Football goal. Yes! Football goal! That was that, that's that guy's other option. Become a valued member of the community for five years. And then wait for me to ask for anyone who can help. And then reluctantly say, yeah, I suppose I could have a go. Come on, Kadrich, top corner. I'm just going to read from James in the chat. Kadrich lumbers about like a current old Kevin Nash. So, Kadrich lumbers about like a current old Kevin Nash. Yeah, he's a waste of space, that Kadrich, isn't he? Well, we didn't lose again. This is the slow turnaround. We're no longer losing matches. We are going to beat Brighton and you cannot stop me. Nobody can stop what's about to happen to Brighton. For God's sake. <laughs> what is happening? What on earth is going on? Now we'll demand more. Do something, you bunch of idiots. Okay, you got to treat them mean. I see. Don't get your finger away from your head. For goodness sake. Come on, Connor. Run. Run, Connor. Run. Lovely. Larios. Football. Oh, when in doubt, Larios is there for us. We're staying attacking. We've got to win this match. 
Oh, near post. Oh, far post. Devin Creel. It's 2-1. Parenting fun. More importantly, Veselinov might be about to score here. Come on. Beautiful stuff. There we go. A Premier League win. Back above the Kev ratio. Wonderful. All right, Fulham, Jablonic, Derby, Tottenham, Bournemouth. That is five matches against absolute trash. We should be fine. Five wins incoming. How are Fulham knocking the ball around us like this? It's like we've not got a midfield, but we've got all the midfield. There is no way that that should have happened. We have been absolutely mugged there. And all of a sudden, after all that good work, we've now lost two in a row again. And now we've got to go and win in Europe or we're out. And we've got to play in this stupid conference league again. The players are scum. You don't get enough managers calling their players scum in... Fuff. What the hell was that? I have never seen anything like it. And that's how we score. I just don't understand. <laughs> there aren't any words left. What the hell? This, after all that, this is how we score. The goalkeeper picks it up and steps over his own line. He's a little bit alarming. Let's have one here. We've got to six foot eight centre forward. Finally, a football goal. Doesn't matter where the goals came from. If Rio Vallecano can grab an equaliser, we'll win the group. Straight into the second knockout round. It was never in doubt. As it is, we're going to have to play a Champions League team, which is problematic. Right, now we need to take that good form into these games against rubbish teams. Derby, Spurs and Bournemouth. Here we go. Come on, Veselinov. They should be subject to a, a salary cap for the next five years. If they're not going to learn how to be a, a self-sustaining football club on their own, it needs to be forced into them. At the moment, all you're doing is punishing other League One teams. Derby fans are going to get a nice, fun promotion season. And getting promoted is always fun. doesn't matter what league you're in. And we were competing with them to try and avoid relegation. Ultimately, we both went down. But the fact that they were... They'd been found guilty of cheating, but were allowed to carry on cheating and benefit from it. Bonkers. It's the same situation with Reading. Oh, God, who are we going to get in the Europa League knockout round? All the Champions League teams are in. This is going to be problematic. The European run might end here, boys and girls. That's probably about as good as we could have hoped for. As teams tumbling out of the Champions League go, I think we'd take PSV. It's just one leg. Is it one leg or is that just because of the World Cup year? No, it is two leg now. It was just that World Cup year. It's one leg. I get confused because of how it happened in the network game. We can win these next two games. We actually are about where we should be. And we can call this a good first half of the season. Still in Europe. Back in the top half of the league. Beautiful. Come on, Veselinov. He's the man who's going to drag us there as well. He started scoring. It's beautiful. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but we've started winning while I've been sitting down. So am I risking it all going wrong if I stand up? These are the kind of questions one has to deal with as a superstitious football manager player. What is Saka doing there? Well, I have no fancy stuff, please and thank you. Let the attackers deal with the fancy stuff. <laughs> oh, Spurs defending like us there. That was beautiful. Let's watch that again. In slow motion from the other angle. This is beautiful. <laughs> so, it was a lovely attempt at the finish there. Then they just play it across goal back into his path again. 
Maybe, maybe I've been underselling Fleming all this time. Maybe he keeps his place when Endgame is back again. Who knows? Spoilers, he probably doesn't. That is a turnaround, though. After a miserable run of form. Go on, goal coming here. Just before halftime. Perfect timing. Oh, look at... We are playing some nice football again. It's nice to be managing a good team again. We're finally starting to click and look good. Football goal. Oh, look at it. Bringing the ball out of defence. Dolman's become a real ball-playing defender. We forced him into it. Ignore those mistakes he made while he was learning the role. Now he's a star at it. It's what he needed all along. Ha 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 ha! Stop fingering yourself, you filthy perv bag. We're having that goal. Yes, we are. This is why FM need a community manager. I know they're hiring for one at the moment. In any other, any other game, the influencers of the game would be sent one before it went on sale so we could all go, look, look what they sent me and they're available for sale now. That's how internet marketing works. But now I can't even buy one because they did it via email on Friday and then didn't put it on Instagram until Tuesday, by which point most of them had already sold out. Need a bit of Kev advice. For my wedding, me and my groomsmen have the same suit. I was going to have either me or them wearing ties and the other wearing bow ties. So how do I go bow tie to make them wear ties? Oh, so do I go bow tie and make them wear a tie or vice versa? Wear the bow tie. Bow ties are cool. Which, uh, I don't think I'm going to sell a thousand shirts, am I? Oh, look at that. Oh. Maybe when I've got half a million subs, we'll do a proper shirt sponsorship. Almost without noticing it was happening. It was as soon as we started chatting about other stuff. Showy Forward has been a big part of this turnaround as well. He is emerging as a star. Right, boys and girls. Uh, but I tell you what, what a turnaround. What a manager. What a hero. Connor Howard's the best player in the Premier League as well. 